have failed children on safety, state, state to the say. Law should cite a lack of protections for minors on social media platforms. In April 2019, David Ginsburg, a Meta executive, emailed his boss, Mark Zuckerberg, with a proposal to research and reduce loneliness and compulsive use on Instagram and Facebook. In the email, Mr. Ginsburg noted that the company faced scrutiny for its products' impacts, especially around areas of problematic use, addiction, and teens. He asked Mr. Zuckerberg for 24 engineers, researchers, and other staff. A week later, Suzanne Lee, now the company's chief financial officer, informed Mr. Ginsburg that the project was not funded because of staffing con constraint. Adam Mosselli, Instagram's head, ultimately declined to finance the project too. A New York Times analysis of the state's court findings, including roughly 1,400 pages of company documents and correspondence filed as evidence by the state of Tennessee, shows how Mr. Zuckerberg and other Meta leaders repeatedly promoted the safety of the company's platforms, play, playing down risk to young people, even as they rejected employee pleas to bolster use guardrails and hire additional staff. He needed to be asked explicitly and held to account explicitly for the decision that he made. In November 2021, Mr. Clegg, who had not heard back from Mr. Zuckerberg about his request for more step, sent a follow-up email with a scaled-down proposal. According to Tennessee court filings, he asked for 32 employees, none of them engineers. Last fall, the match group which owns dating apps like the Tinder and OKCupid OK found that ads the company had placed on Meta's platforms were running adjacent to highly disturbing, violent, and sexualized content, some of it involving children, according to the New Mexico complaint.